Hey, welcome back to the Monster Garden. I have a plan to try something different. Say hello to the stranger and his beautiful, beautiful face mask. I'm going to write the lore of the world like they are entries in his journal. He is going to travel the world of the Monster Garden and document all the things he finds and discovers. We might learn more about him as the entries go on, but the main focus is on the things he documents. And to try this type of writing, for this video we will cover the stranger's entries on the topic of mages and magics. I've been fascinated with magic for a while now, and as I learn more about it and the people who use it, it gets ever more fascinating. But to be able to talk about it more in depth, I will have to lay out some groundwork. Humans aren't innately able to use magic. Mages are people who augment their body to be able to cast spells. The augments required are inputs and outputs. The inputs allow mana to enter the body and be stored in the blood. The outputs is whatever the mage decides to use to let out the mana in the form of spells. The most common output used are thimbles. For both the input and the output, shape and material is important, as it affects how mana travels. Inputs that are wider and more bowl-shaped are better at taking mana from the environment, as compared to more cone-shaped ones that benefit more from the use of mana potions. I will get into mana potions in a later entry. For the material, we have found that metal seems to be the best conductor for magic. On a scale, gold is number one on the list, but silver and copper are also used. They are number two and three, respectively. Kindling is spell material used in the spellcasting process. Things like combustion magic use gunpowder, or acceleration magic use objects that will get accelerated. Though, some magics don't use kindling, like terraforming magic, which uses the earth itself. When you use things around you instead of prepared kindling, it's called environmental casting. A mage has to spend decades to learn and hone the art of magic. Learning to control themselves first, where magic is used through thought and emotion. Your intent must be clear, or it will backfire. Those are the general hows of magic. From mana in the air, taken in through the inputs, melded by the mind, and thrown out in the form of spells. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you have any suggestions or ideas, comment them below, and see you in the next one.